So I just got out of the movie Bullet Train, and that was I, me and Mike saw it. I have to say, man, what a great movie! It was so funny. Uh, Brad Pitt was like this assassin who kept saying he had bad luck, you know. <laughs> he, he was trying to kill some guy. He fell from a building. He crashed into his car. It's like everything with this guy was always like bad luck, you know what I mean? So, but the funny thing was. He was hired to basically get a briefcase that, you know, had like all kinds of money in it, gold, everything. So he had to go into the bullet train. This is in Japan, right? So he goes into the train. He immediately finds the briefcase. You know, he thinks like, listen, there's a piece of cake. In and out, I'm done. He's like, nah, something's got to go wrong. So <laughs> there's this guy. They call him the wolf. Ow! Ooh, you know, and he was some kind of drug lord. I don't know who this guy was. He was he was uh, marrying, you know, his uh, love of his life. They had this beautiful wedding, and um, long story short, everybody at the wedding got like uh, drugged. It was some crazy thing, like like poison. You drink, your blood comes out of your eyes. You like explode. It's really like sick. So long story short, the wolf believed from contacts they said that it was brad pitt brad pitt was at the wedding but he was only hired to oversee it he wasn't the person who actually poisoned everybody but the wolf went on the bullet train to kill him so he was ready to walk out with the money mission accomplished and then him and the wolf got into a big like tangle a big war he winds up killing the wolf okay so it all surrounds by this guy named white death you got you got to watch him i don't want to give too much of it away but the white that had a son and a daughter. He want he hired these two guys. They called them the brothers. One was white, one was a uh, black, right? <laughs> but they said they were twin brothers. It's funny, and and he hired these guys to keep the son safe and to get the briefcase. So these these guys, unfortunately, not the brightest bulbs. You know what I mean? They winded up walking away to get the briefcase. This is when Brad Pitt found that he took the briefcase. They, they uh, put it in like the uh, train closet. Like, why would you put a briefcase, right? Filled with like, I don't know, tremendous amounts of cash and gold. Just leave it there in the closet. Not the smartest decision. So after Brad Pitt took the briefcase, long story short, the daughter of this guy, White Death, winds up killing their, uh, you know, her brother. Now you might say, why would she kill her brother? Well, it was one of those stories where she felt... The father abandoned her. Long long story short, white death. And the father only cared about his son. But later on, you find out he didn't even like his son either. <laughs> he only, only, only person he cared about was his wife, who unfortunately, it was an assassination attempt to kill the white death. They winded up killing the wife. So the whole point of this whole movie was the white death wanted to get everybody that was involved in the killing of his wife. And somehow all of these people had something to do with it, whether it be, you know, like the, the actual person who, who killed her, which is funny, the person who killed her, you, you know, which is strange at the end of the movie, I don't want to give it away. We never see this guy. He thought it was Brad Pitt, but Brad Pitt worked with this guy or knew this guy who was an assassin. But anyway, long story short, um, it's just back and forth fighting. It's really funny. Back and forth, you know, uh, confusement you know of like who's killing who who's hurting who 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 works for you know they nobody knew it was like everybody was completely confused like nobody knew who brad pitt was brad pitt didn't know who the assassins were brad pitt didn't know who was being hired the girl acted who was the daughter of white that like she was this innocent little angel but she was the one killing everybody right <laughs> and her ultimate plot was to kill her father the white death and at the end what she did was she booby trapped all the guns whereas if you you shoot the gun you wind up shooting yourself so i don't want to give too much away but uh let's just say at the end uh you know the uh the point of the story was to kill the white death he winded up going but the thing was brad brad pitt was like trying to talk talk about it killing him because brad he thought Brad Pitt was the one who killed his wife. And he's like, what's the matter with you? You effed up family. So when he tries to shoot him, but he used the daughter's booby trap gun, a gun. And then he blew his brains out. He blew his whole half his face off. And then the daughter was looking to kill Brad Pitt and everybody. And then what happened was a, a fruit truck banged it to <laughs> Then they're all eating fruits. They threw an orange to Brad Pitt. Look, I know I gave away a lot of the movie, but it was so funny. 
It was, it was, uh, I think it was more of a comedy, if you want me to tell you the truth to me. It was definitely action packed, but I would, I would say it was more of a com comedy. I was laughing, I was laughing my ass off the whole movie. I definitely recommend checking it out. Bullet Train.